Powell's hit out at an acceptable rustiness from West Indies in the first T20 versus South Africa where we won by 7 wickets. Viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome back to another video. You know, it's a boy SAE. Big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in to this one. So, people, um, if it's the first time on the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So, in today's video, guys, I know uh, Rob Manpo was in an interview after the West Indies beat South Africa in the first T20 by 7 wickets. You understand? He was basically saying that I'm not pleased. I'm happy with the result, but I'm not pleased because of the rustiness that we showed. You understand, people? I believe the rustiness, before I even quote the article to you guys, I believe the rustiness that he's talking about is um, in the back end, in the middle phase, where the South African can see that 70, they scored 70 and 72 in the middle and the back end of West Indies. Because remember, the people, at one point, at, I think, 10 over or so are in the you know they were um 42 for fight you understand and west indies let them back in the game people and that really um should i say that's what rob man is talking about rustiness but we're gonna let you hear what he said so let me ears for a minute all right so rob man powell insists west indies must not get too far ahead of themselves after what he saw as an uh, unacceptable level of rustiness against south africa the West Indies won by seven wickets to go one nil up in the three match series, right? As I said earlier on. They have now won five after your last six T20s against the Pro Tees, having bounced back from the three wicket defeat at the T20 World Cup in June. Right? Um, however, Powell was far from happy with what he saw, with South Africa posting. A competitive 174 for 7. Tristan Stubbs top scoring with 76 and Patrick Kruger adding 44. Paul said, I think it's always good to go 1-0 up. We bowl well in the power play and though we let them off a bit, we were good with the bat. The guys look a bit rusty, you know, which is unacceptable at this level. To be honest, a lot of talk is around the next T20 World Cup, but we have to play one game at a time and see different players. We have to stay in the moment and the 2026 T20 World Cup is too far for us. Right? Shea up 51, Alec 40 um, got the West Indies chase off to a strong start. You know, proving or paving the way um, for Nicolas Puran to take center stage with an unbeaten 65 which include reeling our four straight sixes in one over right i just felt like shea and alec put south africa under pressure in the power play said puran who was named player of the match right um at the 10 over mark we knew it was a better wicket and my job was simple you know, uh, and just had to take on my matchups. With rain around, the first 10 overs were tricky when South Africa um, batted. Stubbs and Kruger played well, but we knew the wicket would get better. Along with Stubbs' performance with, with the bat, one other bright spark for South Africa in the, their defeat was teenager Kiwana Akwina Mahaka or Maphaka who claim is made an international wicket, right? Um, Mahaka has a lot of X factor and is really young, said Proteus captain Aiden Markram. He has hunger when you speak to him off the field and he wants to win games for South Africa. So basically, people, um, you know, Powell wasn't pleased with it and um, I understand his point of view but, you know, people, leave your thoughts down below, you understand? What's your take on it? Do you agree or disagree with them? Leave it down below, big up on yourself, alright?